Hi everyone, this is Hari Mohan from Kativ Technologies. Have you ever uh, made a small change to your CAD model only to find yourself redoing it halfway in between your simulation when you realize something's not right? Well, I've been there. So in today's ANSYS tech tip video, I just wanted to highlight a feature that I found super useful and I think would be beneficial to anyone working between CAD and FEA, especially if you're tired of redoing your work all the time in between. So I just wanted to bring your attention to this CAD bi-directionality interface between your FEA simulation, which in this case is ANSYS, and any other CAD package. In this case, I'm demonstrating it in Autodesk Inventor. So what I'm doing now is I'm just creating a simple model in Autodesk Inventor and assigning it uh, different geometrical uh, parameters, as you can see what I'm doing right now. So I go to Manage within the Autodesk tab, and I need to rename my parameters as DS underscore uh, whatever I want to call it. That's the only uh, thing I need to do to ensure that I can use the same parameters within my CAD as well as my FEA or with an ANSYS. So first I rename my parameters prefixed by DS and then save the model and then use the ANSYS plugin within Inventor. And what this does is it directly creates a live tracking between Autodesk, Inventor, CAD as well and your uh, subsequent FEA downstream analysis. So when I open that plugin, it creates an instance of Workbench or Discovery. And as you can see here, the parameters have been changed or have been renamed to ANS or DS. And uh, I can now use this within my Discovery and just to see how the live tracking is going on. So the goal here is to use the parameters that I initially created within my CAD package, in this case Inventor, and reuse them in my FEA. So as you can see here, uh, when you do it this way, this, your discovery opens up a history tracking and the parameters that are just renamed now, which is the height and the extrusion level, is now a usable parameter within my uh, discovery interface. I can now change my parameters from here as well, which is why the bidirectionality comes into play. So if I rename my parameters here, I can, uh, the same change is being recorded by inventor. So I just uh, change my parameters and now that's been shown in the instance of Inventor as well. So there's a live tracking going on with this feature which is super beneficial so you don't have to import that into a CAD neutral STP. You can just directly use it. So you, I just need to update from source CAD and now it records the tracking back and forth. So I can change my discovery and that is going to show in my Inventor and vice versa. So and likewise it creates a parameter set and those who are familiar with this, you know that this is going to be used within your workbench for your downstream analysis. So likewise, I can do it for more complex geometries, where in this case I'm doing it for a turbine, where I'm parameterizing the uh, sweep angle for this instance. And now you can see I've, uh, I've modeled this in Inventor and it's been recorded here back and forth. So, for, so as you can see, this is more applicable for uh, more complex geometries as well. And now I can use this in my downstream analysis, my model, my structural analysis, and then use these parameter sets within ANSYS without actually having to go back and forth, reworking it, creating a CAD file, and then instead of that, you can just do this, where you have your live parameter set up, which saves you a ton of time. So if you need more info on this, please don't hesitate to contact support at kativ.com. We'll be happy to help with uh, more tech tips which you would find super useful. Thank you.